I got a I got a notification in at Instagram that was like at me. Instagram? Yeah, it was like telling me when I got it or whatever. And guess who didn't mention it? Me. Because who gives a Nicole, if you could just make Brendan the central focus of this entire thing. Because uh, like I said, it's a team effort and we're uh, we're here celebrating mostly mostly Brendan and Feeney and then my whatever I'm doing tonight. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Feeney sent us in the group oh. chat when we're like, big time to celebrate. It's right here. It is, okay, cool. We're like, congratulations, man, celebrating my cannon. And Feeney goes, well, we got a lot to celebrate tomorrow. And we're like, what? And he, we didn't even say anything. He replied to his thing and said, it's been a year since I got past the cellar. And me and Mike were like, okay. Like, who cares? Do you know the last time I was here, I pissed on the wall because at the W in Union Square because I set up my company's Christmas party and I got blacked out and I told my, my uh, CEO that he hated me and he was like, no, I don't. I was like, shut up. And then I fell down the steps. Oh, I miss blacking out. I think you gotta go around. That's what you got from that story? <laughs> were we supposed to find it so entertaining <laughs> that you are, I don't know, not confident in your social ability? Thank you very much. Hey, the best elevators I've ever been in. Say right this now. is the best. This one is, of, not one of, but one of. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Dude, you need to get Pretty out more. Tight coffin. <sighs> yeah. I, like I was that. literally just gonna say, I think they spent all the money on the lobby. Especially oh, the Have you never been to a W? Really of course I have. <laughs> No, not Weight Watchers. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the privacy thing saying, not now. Not now. We're in a hotel. Oh, who gives a fuck? Shop, this is an apartment. Wait, were you afraid your landlord's gonna yell you? No. Should I take some fucking cashews and shit? How much could cashews be? How much could this thing of nuts be? Oh, that's good that what you're putting you? your bare naked feet on my bed before I get bare to go lay down. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why I say bare naked feet is I'm assuming there's holes in those socks. Uh, the all black with the Nikes. Oh, yeah. Somebody recently told me that this is overdone. All black? So, hmm. Yeah, Brendan. Yeah. You know, I just saw people just wearing all black, and I'm like, I'm fucking done with this, man. Everybody's dressed the same. What Cut to Brendan for the next right six now? weeks wearing the same outfit. What are you emotionally going through that you're taking out? What do you think I'm going through me? emotionally? Take it out on someone else. Feeny's not here, and he deserves it more than me. Awesome. We've been waiting a long time for London's this. London's in the house. <laughs> Any words for Mike? Oh, he's my favorite comedian. He's the cutest comedian at the cellar. Way to go, Mike. We love you. Mike, you're not funny. Anything for Mike? Um, I'm, I'm your brother. We went to school together. We went to school together. School together. Oh, nice. Michael, break a leg, okay? I'm very, very proud of you, so know that. But don't show this until after the show. <laughs> This very moment, I feel pretty good. Um, I do feel like I'm just gonna cry at any moment um, in both good and nervous ways, but I feel mostly good. Like once, this is the worst part of everything. Yeah. But once I'm on stage, it's like, oh, yeah. I can do this for fucking days. Yeah. yeah. And I may. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh. This was the surprise, by the way. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh my God. God. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> so I can let you go? Yes. Right, thank you guys so <laughs> much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so this much. This is Emilio's idea. Oh man. Oh, it's from all of us. Thank you so much. Emilio signed. Yeah, I signed. Emilio 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 signed. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm. Uh, I feel like I'm there. sending my kid off to school. You know. Look what I got you, by the way. I got you a maybe the best little goodie bag gift of all time. Pretzel rods, of course. His great pie food. Sour patch. My um. And then raisinets, the thing that not a human in the world likes except this guy. And then it'd be, and then a nice chocolate, uh, high-end chocolate. Chocolate lonely. Is that a Tony's it's chocolate very lonely? good. Yeah, it is Tony's. Tony. You know about that, Tony? Oh, brother. Oh, yeah. Ah. 
Moderation. That's why he's a bad friend. <laughs> What's going on? How we doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. How about Casey? Give it up for Casey one time, right? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How, how progressive am I for having her open? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Somebody's gotta hire these pregnant broads. <laughs> this is sick. I feel like I just set up my own super sweet 16. This is, <laughs> Lil Bow Wow's gonna come to perform. And if my dad doesn't get me that G-Wagon, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. <laughs> this is good. This actually kind of more like, looks like my funeral, but. <laughs> Either way, it's the end of something, so. We'll figure this out together. Two, two kids, how long have you been, been with your, are you still married? That's a good question, right? Because that's, that's when things get real shitty. All right, I'll move on. <laughs> I completely understand why you didn't want to dive right into that. It's like, no, I gave my answer. Work with nothing, fuckface. <laughs> that was unreal. That was like you saw me drowning and you threw a life preserver like 15 feet short. <laughs> and then as I'm swimming to it, you're just tugging it back to the boat. <laughs> so I just want to see you flounder. We, I, I was a new kid. I moved, I moved to the town we live in now, and uh, I was a new kid in fourth grade. Has anybody ever gone through that? Being a new kid out of school? Yeah, no shit, what year, dude? 85. 85, that's not what I meant, but um... <laughs> you really aged yourself right there. Oh, it's hilarious, you're like, 85, I was brand new. It was a terrifying thing, and I just started selling coke to make friends. <laughs> what, what grade was it? Seventh, okay, no shit, you look great, dude. Good for you. I was born in 85 and I look like your grandfather. That's like the most hurtful realization I've had on stage in a long time. What do you do, buddy? You look like you fucking invented crypto. You got a quarter zip on, Patagones with the button down underneath, dude. You work in finance. Do you? You're goddamn right you do, hell yeah. You're goddamn right you do. What's your job? You just kick poor people out of their homes or? Uh, a bean counter. You're a bean counter? Yeah, I don't know if that's politically correct to say. Is that what they call border control? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if you laugh at that. That was absolutely hilarious. I'll celebrate that in my own heart. It was just deliciously racist. I don't know though. So you, you were seventh grade in 85. How old are you now, buddy? I don't, I, I'm not gonna do math up here in front of people. I'll be 52 in April. You'll be 52 in April? Seriously, get the fuck out. Unbelievable. Can you turn and like stand up and show people what a Kennedy you look like? How much do you want to kick this guy's head right off his shoulders? <laughs> I'll be 52 in April. <laughs> Turns out being a bean counter makes you afford quite a bit of stem cells. <laughs> do you inject that with your breakfast? That's fucking awesome, dude. Excellent. And you're, you guys are together? Very cool, nice. Is his cock work as young as he looks? <laughs> I'll keep it moving, all right. You know, sometimes you really just dive into a guy and the lady's not into it at all, and I get that. You're cool, you're cool, you are into it, you are. Nice, good for you, buddy. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. Thank you for coming out, I appreciate it. 
means everything. Thank you. Thank you. I want to take a picture with all you guys. I want to be one of those lame Instagram dudes with everybody. So, you know, I, I see fucking Burt Kreischer or famous people do this. So, you know, dress for the job you want. <laughs> yeah, pop my shirt off. It looks the encore. You want me to pull out some oldies? You want me to tell an old joke? I'll tell an old joke. Yeah, fuck it. I'll tell an old joke. All right. <laughs> yeah, I got one for you. <laughs> Crowd work. You were at the crowd work stone show, you son of a bitch. You want to be featured in another one? No, I don't know. With, with, you know, in terms of having... I'll just tell this one thing. In terms of having kids, you know, the whole, the whole goal, I guess, is to move the ball down the field a little bit, right? Just do a little bit better than your parents. And you hope that, you know, that, that kind of sets things up for the future. And I guess as long as I don't beat the shit out of my son... <laughs> we should be okay. I got, I got hit as a kid, not like, not Hallmark movie level. But, you know, enough for me to remember the last time. I do, I remember the final time I got hit, like it was a badge of honor. Moved my graduating cap, moved it over to the side. I was 15 years old, my mom was chasing me up the steps with her three rings facing in. But again, I'm 15, so I'm basically the size of a strong, independent woman. <laughs> and I remember having that realization as I was running from my mom. I was like, wait a second, I'm, I'm too powerful for this. <laughs> so I turned like J-Lo in Enough. <laughs> and I was like, this ends now! <laughs> my mom threw a hand at me, I caught it. She threw another hand at me, I caught it. I go, what now, Kate? <laughs> I watched the confidence drain from her face because she just realized her baby boy was too big to beat. So she screamed for my father. She goes, Kevin, Michael just tried to throw me down the stairs. She fucking lied. She lied while staring me in the eyes. The woman that brought me into this world. And my dad is six foot two, 265, asleep in his bedroom like a goddamn polar bear. <laughs> Here's his name, and it's like, <laughs> gets up, starts ambling up the steps. I sprint up the stairs, slam the door behind me. My dad fucking Kool Aid mans right through the door. <laughs> Shatters it. Stepped right on my masturbation towel. <laughs> that was immediately behind my door and rock hard, so it acted like road spikes. <laughs> There's my dad in full fifth gear sprint. He catches a flat. Turned around to see what it is, saw my towel snapped in half. Turned back to me, raised his hand, looked back at the towel, looked back at me, goes, no, no. <laughs> Dry heave. Walked out and I was never hit ever again. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much for making this a fucking amazing night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey.